Podcast clips and streaming snippets have become a very popular content format on TikTok and YouTube Shorts. And this type of content, which recreates videos for famous podcasters or even public icon speeches, is more likely to go viral on social media. All right, so in this video, we're going to walk you through a few tips on how to edit podcasts or streaming clips on viral video. And in this video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to edit those snippets to make that viral video. And we're going to be using Filmora, so jump into the description, go ahead and click that link, and you can try one of the two ways that I'm going to show you and try out some of these tips and tricks to help you make that video yourself. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you want to do is to kind of go ahead and find a video clip or a podcast uh, or a stream that you would want to use from either YouTube or even TikTok as well. Uh, and so a tip here that you would want to use here is that go ahead and kind of save the video comment. That way the algorithm will actually show what you're kind of interested in and what's ooh, your likes, right? So uh, you can do that. You can find here now. I'm going to use one from Joe Rogan, but let's go ahead and jump over to Filmora and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so the first method is manually selecting the highlight that we'd want to use, right? So now we can use Filmora's text-based editing to actually identify the content in the podcast, and then we just need to drag the video into the timeline once we get done. So how do we do that? So the text-based editing. Now, so now we're here in Filmora, we're going to go over, click the three horizontal dots, and you can see the AI text-based editing. I'm going to click on that, and then here is my clip it that I saved. And I'm going to just click and open, and it's going to load. So here we go. And it's in English, so we're going to select OK. And then we're going to let the conversion process take place. And then it's going to start doing its magic. All right, now we're finished generating. Now what we need to do is find the clips that we're going to think are the most engaging, which is based on the text format, right? So either it's this or the front. Now this specifically podcast talks about PDD, which is kind of viral information and well, not really information, but it's really kind of popular topic to talk about, right? So we can uh, find what's based on that uh, or even something that's kind of based where it's just shocking, right? For example, like where he's talking about being a sociopath. Um, so this is kind of well, what you want to choose on, right? So the first clip should be the best hook to grab the viewer's attention. And tip number two is make sure that we show the celebrity's face at the beginning, the middle, and the end of what we're going to be using, right? So uh, here we can kind of go down and find, um, and based on this, so I'm going to find you this, but let's see, let's talk about Diddy. Yeah, yeah, there was this Diddy's house. Uh, yeah, he was at Diddy's house, and let's say right here. So, right, it shows this, saucy, no saucy is crazy, right? So right around in the two-minute mark, uh, here, so we can use uh, this, and then it shows towards the end as well, right? So, which is really, really cool. Uh, so, we're gonna have two different uh, pieces, right? So, or we can even go even further along. So, right around for TikTok or something like that, uh, the shorts, uh, we can, um, we want to keep it around like 45, 60 seconds, something like that. So, about right around here, about a yeah, something like this. So right around the two uh, two minute and 46 mark, right? So uh, here's what I want, and then I can export to the timeline. So now we're going to export that to our timeline, and bing, we have it, right? So we have this piece going right here, uh, and I'm going to go to the two minute mark. And let's see, I'm going to just drag this over to make it smaller, the two minute and 50 to 30 something like that to 40 to 50 and right around in here so we can kind of see that area so let's make this a little bit bigger for us right and now we got our point right oh wow and then you can see we have our captions uh based on this and we're just going to just drag he definitely came from diddy right so something like this but we want to make it like here, right? So Diddy's house, I'm just going to cut and then delete. And about the 305 mark, right? So 330, and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And then 
we're just going to find our piece and then the saucy piece, right? I don't even know if Diddy right in music. And we're just going to find our spot because, we, like I said, we want to manually find the last little piece where he's going to be showing his face. And let's see, that's a pretty good hook right here at the end for him, right? And then, then right here. And then now we're going to delete that as well. Now we have our clip bit, right? So now we have captions, right? Uh, we have some captions. So now we need to make those dynamic captions. Now, how do, how do we do that, right? So we're going to go to titles. We can go to AI captions and then speech to text. We'll click transcribe and here, add automatic active words and then uh, auto detect language we don't want to translate anything we're going to hit and generate and it's going to scan and generate that and then that way we can go over and make these a little bit more dynamic now what those dynamic text does uh is it's going to kind of highlight those words it's going to make it a little bit more cool you've seen it on very popular clips where the words are highlighting or it's kind of like speaking um and highlighting the word as the speech is going on well that's what we're going to do so just letting it upload and then we're going to jump in. All right, now we have our captions loaded up and now we're gonna be able to take a look and see what we got, right? So just dragging the timeline and we, let's take a look. I don't think so. I don't think it's locked These up. Gates. I think now, you can, you go now you can see how it kind of goes along with it, right? So pretty much, right. much more dynamic, oh, right? So this yeah. is a this is a big tip for you guys right here. So you definitely want to add those that way with various templates that they have, right? So uh, let's, select, let's select one. So for example, if we come here, uh, we can go to text and then you can kind of edit those and change those up. Like if we want to do something like this, but another one, like here's the text base, let's just delete that. That way it's from the back and there we go. All right, now we're going to go to the forward and now we have our There we go. Now what we want to do is select all of these. And we're just going to select all. Now we go to text. And then we can change those just like that. Let me move this over. And we can kind of change the, whatever, which one we want to have, right? So uh, select all of these one more time because I clicked off. better to go back and we'll select those and then we're going to go to text and let's make like this or we can just change those uh, whichever we want right so we'll add those um, or this one Ooh, however you however you want right so this one's probably better all right so now we do that and we can apply to all and play all and now now what about actually making some sound effects for this right so like at diddy's house uh or let's just say towards the end here he was talking about soft and we think none in america right so because listen all right, we can kind of vanish when someone, yeah. So we can kind of do this right here. And then let's add some audio. Now we're going to go to AI sound effect. And then we can say, uh, for example, you want to use something that's not abstract. Let's just say clapping. All right, and we can generate. Now we want a sound effect that's, a, that's going to simulate clapping uh, based on this. So let's take a look and let this go ahead and generate. It's going to give us a couple of examples. We'll listen to those and then we can add those as well. Now we have those generated. Let's take a listen. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the third one. All right, and we can kind of add that and drop it. 
and then it's going to download the content and it's going to add it to our timeline and this is how we're going to do that now the last one is the auto reframe feature that's going to convert horizontal content to vertical so if you have horizontal content and you want to make it vertical the auto reframe feature is going to convert that uh, automatically and that's going to kind of focus on the person talking so let's go ahead and auto reframe this and that way it focuses on our speaker all right so gonna highlight the material I'll go to tools and then I'll do auto reframe and then nine by 16 ratio. We can change that if we want the one to one, four by three, right? So we can choose that. I'm going to leave it here just for the purpose of sharing with you. And so we're going to analyze it and then have it focusing on our speaker. So we'll let the analysis take place and then we will take a look and see what we have. All right. Now you can see the well the box the frame kind of going over and over the person right so you can kind of see how it's going on let's play it and follow along i guess one of the advantages i have is like I'm you can see it moving to, uh, so it's like I'm, not there. I'm a gold miner i just found some gold you're right maybe i'm a sociopath it's not the All right now you see how that works now we can add that to the timeline and we can see match the media so it's a 406 by 720 30 or keep the project settings so um whichever you want to use and then it will just add that to there as well and you can take a look right so anyways make the boy go ahead and try this one if you would like remember the link is in the description below but let's talk about method number two now method number two is even faster and better so we're going to be using filmora's short or short smart clips or smart short clips however you want to call it now it's smart short clips and what it does is it automatically identifies and highlights the best parts of the talking in the video which is going to put them together and combine a very very cohesive video so uh for example you can see right here smart short clips i'm going to click that and then I just need to select my uh, my video. Now you can also paste your YouTube video here too as well. So now I'm just going to click on our video that we wanted. And then we can do the duration, let's say uh, zero to 30 seconds. If we wanted to make a 30 second video or a 60 second, but here I'm just going to do 30 just to kind of show you guys how it looks. The theme is a video podcast and the video language is in English. And then uh, we can select the templates, right? So I like this uh, pretty cool. So you can go over and look at those and then now I'm going to generate uh, What we have so I'm gonna click that and then let it show us the different options that it's going to give us right so let's go ahead and click generate Detecting the language and then it's going to do its magic all right, now we have our options done, and now you're, we're going to be able to take a look and see what we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six options right here. Now, if you've noticed, now the auto reframe has been combined for it as well. Let's just take a look really fast, right? Right. Now, this is called Celebrity Meltdowns, and we were talking about Diddy. So uh, Diddy's the celebrity raids and their drama, right? So this is what we were talking it's about. You're a sociopath. It's just that that's part of the gig. Yes. Like, you're not a right? sociopath. So if we wanted to use that, now we can go to edit. And now we can edit that more specifically. And, of course, we, we already have that dynamic. Um, we already have the dynamic captions that's already set but we can even edit those even more if we would like so we can just highlight those uh and through several ways now what we're going to do is do this and i'm going to select all of those i'm going to go to text and then i could change those and you can see it right here right so uh we could choose the green we can do let's just say this one and then let's just say i want to drag those up uh to have in the center and I can apply to all apply and there we go now we have the media that we can go to and what about the background music maybe we want to add some background music to it as well so we'll go to audio and we can go to ai music and then we can select the music based on this right so here we have some we can go by mood theme and genre so uh here the mood we can say like busy and frantic or dreamy elegant euphoric glamorous uh we can do scary the theme we can do let's see um like documentary theme and then we can go to genre 
and we can go to like hip hop, for example, and then we can have some of those generated. So let's generate some of that music. All right, now we have our music. So let's take a listen. Mm hmm. Yep, we like that one, right? So I like this one a lot more. Let's pause that, and then we can just drag and drop uh, for that. And we'll download it and drag that there. Okay. And we'll let that load. And there's another way to do it as well, and I'm going to show you in just a second. All right, now, for example, we have this one, though. So let's go ahead. We can go ahead and save our project, and this is going to be the cool part. So we're going to go to Export. And then here we can just log in to our Vimeo, our TikTok, our YouTube channel, and we can go ahead and have it posted right there. So, uh, for example, we can save it to our local, our local file, and we can select what we want to do and then export it. So let's show you the other way for the background music now. All right, so when we're creating a project, we can come here. You can see where we can click New Project. The same thing, Horizontal and Smart Background Music Generation. We could do it for this video, as we were doing earlier. And we're going to let it start pulling up. We're going to keep our project settings. And then now the Smart Background Music Generation can analyze the content of our current media and generate suitable background music for you. So here we're going to start. And it's going to analyze the video content. And it's going to make background music for that video. So let's take a look. All right, now we have our background music generated. So let's take a listen and see what it's done for us. I guess one of the advantages I have. Okay, now we need to lower the music sound just a little bit. And let's take another listen, right? So real quick, like I'm pretty close to a sociopath. Like I'm not there, but like I don't, I don't feel the same emotions that everybody feels uh-huh and so now we can see that now it actually goes really really well so we can just bring the music down just a taste there's like a lack of guilt but i know when i should feel it in these moments Whoa. but that's a huge advantage imagine if you're trying all right very good so now we have it and then we can export that as well so now this actually shows all of this is really showing really how all of it got put together in a very cohesive way and now so we can use the social media planner now on doing so so let's go to it and we'll go to export and then we can go to for example if we go here to export we'll go to the social media like i was showing you a second ago and then we can just have it posted there now try editing these podcasts using both of those methods that i've showed you and share your performance in the comment section below thank you guys for watching and i will catch you again next time